All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to lesson nine of the Surfside PPC WordPress money course. Today, we're going to go over set your initial setup of WooCommerce and WooZone, and basically all the setup for your plugins. Uh, so, in the last video, we went over the top 18 WordPress plugins, um, and basically, I went through all of them, I installed all of them, and I at least tried to activate all of them. Um, so, there's a few of them that aren't, you know, fully activated here. <clears throat> um, but what I want to start with is going down to WooCommerce. So if you don't have WooCommerce activated, it might actually break your website if you have WooZone installed because it's looking for WooCommerce. Um, so let's see if... All right, so I'm getting this fatal error. Call to undefi undefined function WC underscore get checkout URL. Um, and you'll see it, the plugin, you know, the problem is with WooZone here. Uh, so plugins, WooZone. So it's always good to read these messages because you can kind of try to figure out where these problems are. So if there's a call to an undefined function, WC underscore get checkout URL. Usually what that means is that we don't have WooCommerce activated. So right now it's not activated. We're going to click activate. Okay, so now we have WooCommerce activated and I'd be willing to bet that my website works. So there you go. Now we have you know, homepage, our kingdom theme is coming up. So clearly I don't have any issues now. It's just the issue was with that plugin. If you ever get a broken website message like that, usually it has something to do with your plugin or your theme. Um, so that's a good place to start. You could always Google too. Um, plenty of people have probably run into the same issues as you. So basically what happens now is after you activate WooCommerce, it's going to say run the setup wizard. So we're going to run the setup wizard. So I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible, but basically welcome to the world of WooCommerce. Um, it's going to say, you know, basically this quick setup wi wizard will help you do the basic settings. So we're going to click let's go. So these are essential pages that they're going to create automatically. Um, so my account, checkout, cart, and shop. I don't actually use a lot of uh, these pages, but I, I always just click continue. So they're going to install all of those pages now. Okay, so where's your store based? Um, so I'm in South Carolina actually right now. So South Carolina, what currency will your, your store use? United States dollars. Will I be charging sale tax? No, I will not. Um, so these are sales tax rates. The way I'm going to set up the website, I'm not going to be charging sales tax. I'm not actually going to be doing any of the sales. It's all going to be going through Amazon or other websites. Okay, so shipping recommended. So you can do this if you want. It just depends on how you're setting up your WooCommerce store. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is if you are using WooCommerce, it is you can basically set up you know any type of e-commerce website you want. So if you're shipping products, you want to adjust this, whatever your weight unit is, you know kilograms, pounds, ounces, grams. Um, so you want to adjust that. I just keep it as it is because it doesn't really matter for me. Um, so I enable WooCommerce shipping, but usually I'll just get rid of it. Um, so payments, so they can accept payments both online and offline. Um, I'm going to skip this step because I'm not doing any payments through my website. Again, you can set these up how you wish. Um, if you have products to sell, then you could just basically set up payments. You could set up shipping and all that. I'm, the way I'm setting up this website, it's going to be very much an affiliate marketing website, so I don't have to you know, handle all this stuff. Um, so they're going to See, allow WooCommerce to collect non-sensitive diagnostic data and usage information. I allow. Why not? You know, what are they going to... Just more information for them to improve their products, the product that we're using. So, same with Google Analytics. Okay, so now it says my store is ready. Create my first product. Import, import products from a CSV file. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. So we're just going to do farmhousegoals.com slash wpadmin. All right, so I'm back here now. I have WooCommerce activated. You should have this over here. Um, the next step I want to do is down here with WooZone. So we're going to go to WooZone. And one of the things you might find um, if you buy the WooZone package from Code Canyon, which obviously I recommend, is you might have to update it. 
and in order to update it, you have to put your item purchase code here. Um, so you can see, get it from Code Canyon account, go to your downloads page. So basically what we're gonna do is come back in here to Code Canyon. Um, so I have my Woozone Amazon Associates bundle pack here. And what you wanna do is click download and you basically want to download this here, license, certificate, and purchase code. You can download the PDF or the text version. Uh, it's really up to you. I like downloading the text version um, because then I can just open it quickly. So I can't let you guys see my purchase code. Okay, so now once you enter your purchase code, I obviously have to hide my purchase code from you guys because otherwise you guys can just use my purchase code and I wouldn't be able to. Um, so it's going to say welcome to the W Zone setup wizard. Please take five minutes to set up your most important plugin settings. So we're going to click get started. Um, so what kind of website is this? Um, I'm going to do online store. It'll kind of be, it's kind of a mash of a blog and an online store, but I'm just going to do online store. So what's the state of the website? Fresh install. So what's your purpose of what you want to do with WooZone, or WooZone it's saying, but it's called WooZone. Um, so basically WooZone helps you import Amazon products easily. Um, so, you know, it's, I'm not really even sure what any of these are. I already have. All right, we're just going to do, I, I'm creating a new website. Don't even worry about, all these are kind of weird answers. Um, so these are the most important things uh, for Amazon of whether or not you want all these options. So you can just keep them all. Um, actually, we're going to go through these. Let me see. There's some different options here I didn't know. Okay, so here we're going to do. So on-site cart, I don't want an on-site cart. So 90-day cookies, we're going to say yes. Um show Amazon reviews, we're going to say yes. Cross-selling, show frequently brought together products, we're going to say yes. Product availability by country. Um, I usually say yes here because I'll sell to US, Canada, and United Kingdom. Um, show coupons, so we're just going to get rid of that. Checkout email, we're going to get rid of that. Reso remote Amazon images. Um, that's if you want to either upload images yourself. I usually get rid of this because I'd rather just host all the websites myself and show free shipping. I get rid of that one as well. So basically these four I keep, 90 day cookie, reviews, cross selling, product available by country. You can adjust those as you go. Um, so that's really up to you. So prices set up, do Amazon or other sellers import product from merchants, Amazon and other sellers. So import as, so I like to import as draft. So it imports my product as drafts instead of just publishing right, them right away. And import products with price zero, keep that off. Import attributes, keep that on. So the only thing we need to change here is import as draft. Okay, so number of images and variations and spin on import. You can just click next. You can adjust these as you're importing things and I'll show you that. So customization, um, so basically when someone clicks on your website or clicks on a product to add to their cart or something along those lines, you can redirect them directly to Amazon and this will kind of be the message that they see. Um, so I like to redirect in one second. I keep the same message, you'll be redirected to Amazon website to complete your checkout. So buy button custom text, I just usually do add to cart. Buy button opens in, so I like to do a new tab and as of text font, you can keep this as is. All right, so what you need to do is set up your access key ID and secret access key in order to import your products. And then you also need your affiliate ID from Amazon. So here's exactly how we do that. What we're going to do first is you're going to go to open up a new browser window and we're going to go to aws.amazon.com. So AWS is Amazon Web Services and basically what you're going to need to do is create an Amazon Web Services account. If you already have an Amazon account, you should be able to just sign up through that. Um, so we're going to do... So for me, I'm going to go into my account now. Okay, so I'm in my Amazon Web Services account now, and basically what we need is to 
get our access key ID and secret access key ID for Amazon. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now is find our access key ID, secret access key, and our affiliate IDs. This is all through Amazon, and it's so you can import Amazon products directly to your website, um, basically without any security issues, and with your affiliate ID so that when you import products and people click through to them, they go to the Amazon website that gives you credit when they purchase through your URL. So I don't know how much of this I can show you. I'm not sure if I can show you my demo access key or secret access key, my affiliate ID. It doesn't really matter if you see that, but um, basically what I've done is I've opened up this page from Stack Overflow. It shows exactly how to do it. Um, so basically you go to aws.amazon.com, sign up, create a new account, and you go to your AWS account overview um, in the upper right hand corner of your account, it's, you're going to see your name. If you click on your name, you go to submenu security credentials. And from there, you're able to, you know, make your secret access key and your, your different IDs that you need in order to get started with it. So I'm going to do that now. And then, um, I'm going to come back to the video when I'm done with it on here and just click Amazon config. Uh, so once you click Amazon config, you'll come to a page. Um, so up above I have my you know, affiliate ID up there for United States, and I have my two secret access keys I, key IDs uh, that I made in Amazon. Uh, my main affiliate ID is going to be United States, and basically what I'm going to do here is click Check Amazon AWS Keys. So you'll get the options updated successfully down here, so it saves the settings, and you're going to see Country Worldwide WooCommerce Amazon Affiliates was able to connect to Amazon with a specified AWS key pair and associate ID. So as long as you have your so associate ID is also your Amazon affiliate ID. Um, so as long as you have that up there and within Amazon Web Services, you create your two access keys and you just put them in there, you'll have everything set up and ready to go. Uh, so now your website, you're basically ready to add products to your website. Uh, you have WooCommerce installed. Uh, what we can do over here is come over to Pages. Um, so I'm going back to the dashboard here and I'm going to go up to Pages. Um, you're going to see that when we added WooCommerce that they actually added some of these pages here so these weren't here before uh, so checkouts here uh, we have home page as our front page I'm gonna go into this more in our next video uh, my account sample page comes with every WordPress website and then shop that's where your products will be so um, make sure you stay tuned for our next video we're gonna go over how to your initial uh, search engine optimization setup for your website uh, so right now we have WooCommerce activated we have WooZone installed um, and we're just going to go through our plugins one more time here to make sure I have everything activated for WooCommerce and WooZone. Okay, so we're going to make sure we have all of these activated eventually. Um, but for right now... Okay, so what you're going to see here is there's a new version of WooZone, so I'm going to update that now. Since we added our purchase code, uh, we went to CodeCanyon.net, and you can download your purchase code there, and you uh, add it to your WooZone app. If you click Update Now... Um, it'll actually update once you add your purchase code. If you don't add your purchase code, you can't update it. So you can just kind of, so there we go, update it. So now we're all good to go. Uh, looks like we have everything installed that we need to and activated. So uh, you should kind of be starting to get your website set up a little bit here. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go over initial search engine optimization setup. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that one. Thanks for joining me today.